morning and welcome to five minute sunday school with me wendy from st john's i've got a really old computer and i've been on it quite a lot recently and while i'm waiting endlessly for it to load up i've got a little star shape that goes round and round and round i don't know if your computer's like that maybe it has a circle with colors in that goes round and round or even a little sand timer that looks as if the sand is dropping through. Ah, oh, waiting is hard, isn't it? But the good bit is that sun shape has reminded me this week about how fortunate we have been to have the last few days of beautiful sunshine after what's been the wettest May ever in Wales and the fourth wettest May in the UK. Whew. Aren't we lucky to have the sun? The sun is beautiful and it makes our mood feel better, doesn't it? I wonder, there's lots of poems written about the sun and also Bible verses about the sun. Here's one from William Shakespeare. Full many a glorious morning have I seen flatter the mountain tops with sovereign eye, kissing with golden face the meadows green. It's rather beautiful, isn't it? Revelation says that our Lord has a face that shines like the sun in full strength. And there's a funny song that we used to sing in primary school that goes like this. The sun has got his hat on, hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. I used to like singing that one. Sunflowers, you know, grow and turn their faces to keep with the sun all day long. That's why they're called sunflowers. It's very beautiful. Some of the best verses about the sun are in the Psalms because God as creator made the sun as the greater light. Do you know this one? It's in Psalm 113. From the rising of the sun unto its going down, the Lord's name is to be praised. My favourite psalm is Psalm 130, and that is set for this week. I'll read it out, bits of it for you. It starts off with the psalmist talking about being in despair. And there have been times that this year has been tough, hasn't it? But what we do is we call out to God. From the depths of my despair, says the psalmist, I call to you, O Lord. Hear my cry, O Lord. Listen to my call for help. I wait eagerly for the Lord, for his help. And in his word, I put my trust. I wait for the Lord more eagerly than sentries wait for the dawn more than centuries wait for the dawn. Israel, trust in the Lord because his love is constant and he is always willing to save. He will save his people Israel from all their sins. The bit I love about this psalm is I imagine being on the battlements of a castle in the dark. I'm not alone because I've got a mate with me, another sentry. But we're waiting in the dark to watch the sun come up and then wake everyone up to start the day. But we're not afraid because we know that that sun is going to come up at some point in the dark, dark horizon. A bit of grey will start to rise. The sun will be just peeping over the top even if the clouds are thick, then we know the sun is still there, shining and bringing warmth to the day. Even when it's raining, we know the sun is still there and the weeds in my garden or the plants reach up to try to find the sunshine. So no matter whether it's rainy or gray or bright sunshine, we know the Lord is there and he is with us and we can trust him. So let's just thank him. Lord, thank you that you hear our cry. 
Thank you that the dawn always comes no matter how dark the night is and help us to enjoy the love that you share with us, which is like the sun, constant, all day, rising again every day. And thank you for your mercies, new every single morning. Amen.